The late and great Jim Rohn once said how success is something that you attract by the person you become. And that's why if you want to become more successful, you've got to be able to condition your mind for success. And it is for this reason in today's video, I'm going to share with you three powerful ways that you can train your mind so you can get more results in your life. Now, just before I reveal the three powerful strategies inside that, I just want to mention that in 12 days time, I'll be releasing my first ever book. And in this book, I actually talk about in regards to how I began my journey towards reconditioning my mind and all of the failures, successes I had along that journey. And I've dropped a lot of golden nuggets in here. If you'd like to get involved with a global launch event, all you have to do is follow this link or follow the card out shop right now. And by getting involved with this, not only will you get a chance to grab the Kindle version of this for $1.50, you'll also be given gifts from me worth over $419, which include the audio book, the launch event, Q&A and so forth. It's gonna be absolutely amazing and I hope to see you there very, very soon. Now, without further ado, let me reveal the first strategy you can use to condition your mind for more success. The first step is to seek what is called belief freedom. Most people in life, the reason why they don't get new results in their life and they never make their news resolution or their ultimate goal a reality, is because they're so fixated on their belief. Remember, your results you've got in your life is as a result of the belief you've carried. Your belief equals thoughts. Thoughts equals action. Action equals results. So at the core of it all is your belief. One of the things I did in my journey, which I reveal in my book, was I began to realize how there were so many beliefs I was carrying in regards to money, in regards to success, in regards to wealth, that was contradicting with people who had the results I wanted. And that's when I began to realize how the reason why I wasn't seeing more results in terms of finances, in terms of freedom, is because I had so many broken beliefs in my mind. That's been conditioned from my society, conditioned from my upbringing, conditioned from my friends, conditioned from the media. And so when you achieve what's called belief freedom, and you begin to seek that every single day, where you realize if somebody who's gotten the results you want has got different beliefs from you, and you're willing to be coming from a growth mindset, will you take that on as your belief? That's what's called belief freedom. It's that ability to detach from your belief and realize all belief is, is a certainty of a feeling of what something means to you. It's something that you've basically told yourself is something that's true. And when you begin to let go of that and realize it's like a post-it note, you can remove it. And when you begin to adopt the beliefs of the winners out there, that's when you're free to make magic happen. And I find so many people out there, the reason why they remain broke is because they got broken beliefs about money, broken beliefs about success, subconsciously that's running them every single day, and that's why they never get results. Because in this day and age, there's no denying that we're not lacking information. What people lack is that mindset, is that tenacity, is that relentless drive to do whatever it takes. And that comes from reinventing your beliefs and achieving belief freedom. So that's the first step that you can consider. The second step inside it is something I like to call thought discipline. Now, thought discipline is about understanding that your thoughts are roaming around in your mind. You can pick and choose the ones you want to focus on. And when you begin to focus on the ones that's actually coming from the right place, abundance opposed to scarcity, when you begin to focus on the thoughts that's giving you solutions opposed to problems, that's when you're rewiring, creating new neural connections. So you're relentlessly solution focused every single day. Whenever you catch yourself looking at a problem, going through stuff in your life and saying, oh my God, this is terrible. When you complain and when you catch yourself complaining or whenever you catch yourself focusing on the problem, you want to you wanna begin to discipline your thoughts. So now you begin to focus on the other thoughts. That's focus on abundance. That's focus on solutions. And when you do this every single day and you turn this into a habit, then that's when you begin to see more results. Because most people out there, the reason why they never see solutions, they, the reason why they never see results is because they're sat on their problems every single day, looking at the problems, complaining about problems, justifying their problems, and basically blaming everybody else for why they got problems. Until you get off your story, you do not get the results in your life. 
And so you want to make sure that every single day you discipline your thoughts. Whenever you find yourself looking at something and saying, oh, I can't have that, oh, that's too expensive, oh, I can't do that, whatever it may be, you want to stop yourself and begin to rewire the connection. And over time, you're creating new neural connection in your mind. That's the second step. The third step is to actually go against your primal programming. And it's a rule that you may have heard of before. It's called the rule of 10, 10, 10. It's a very powerful rule. But first you gotta understand that as human beings, we are primarily programmed to seek survival and replication. Meaning, everything we do on a day-to-day -day basis, if you really look at why America and all the other countries nowadays, they're suffering from obesity problems and so forth, the reason why this is happening is if you really look at our biological programming, we're designed to go out there and just grab a load of food and just eat a load of food. I mean, back in the caveman era, this was fine because we had to go out and hunt. But nowadays, we've got so much different food options. We just walk into a supermarket, we can just buy as much as food as we want. And most people who don't understand this in regards to the programming level, well, they end up just eating too much and so forth. We are designed to just seek survival and replication. And so unless you understand that, that we will always look at the short term opposed to the long term, you will never win in life. The rule of 10, 10, 10 is about asking yourself, whenever you're about to take action, asking yourself, what would be the implications, the result of me taking action on this within 10 minutes? How about within 10 months? How about 10 years? When you begin to focus on the long term, you're now reprogramming your mind for success. Look at the most successful investors out there. They don't invest because they're looking at short term, they're looking at the long term. People who are successful are able to become successful in life in terms of not just finances, but in terms of their health, in terms of their love, because they look at the long term implications of the action they're about to do. And if that action right now only gives them the short term instant gratification, they know they shouldn't grab that next bite of that cake, whatever it may be, because they're looking at the long term. What's the long term consequences if I continue to do what I'm doing right now? So the rule of 10, 10, 10 allows you to focus on what truly matters and allows you to take action on the things that will actually make you more successful in the process. So those are the three steps inside there that you can try out today to be able to condition your mind for success. Now there are more strategies and more steps of course, so if you want to see more videos on this particular topic, be sure to let me know in the comments box below. So the first step I revealed today was in regards to achieving belief freedom. It's about understanding that your belief right now is, is actually bringing you all of that results. So when you change the belief, your life changes in that moment. The second step was in regards to thought discipline. It's about disciplining your thoughts and creating the new neural connections every single day. And that way you're always relentlessly solution focused and therefore you're gonna get more results. The third step was the rule of 10, 10, 10, which is about training your mind to look at the long term opposed to the short term whenever you're taking action or whenever you're procrastinating, whenever you're holding something off, Look at the long-term implications because the people who focus on short-term are often the ones who lose. I hope you found today's video helpful inside it. If so, be sure to click that like button. And like I said, if you wanna get involved with a book launch where I go really in depth into this particular topic as well, be sure to basically follow this link here, which is www.successinside.tv forward slash book, or you can follow the card above. And like I said, you can grab a copy of this on the launch date for $1.50 and claim free gifts worth over $419 for supporting us on the launch day. So thank you so much inside for tuning in. Let me know in the comments box what's been your biggest takeaway or something you're gonna train every single day moving forwards and share this video with a friend or a loved one who's got to hear this message because by you doing that act of kindness, we'll be able to transform the world one person at a time and that's what life's all about. And as always inside there, follow your heart my friend and take action and go live the life you're truly born to live. I'll see you very, very soon. Take care.